Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Today we're gonna create an easy everyday makeup look um, that I wear every single day and I felt like doing a chatty get ready with me video because I haven't done one in a while um, or ever I think. The last like get ready with me was for Valentine's Day and then before that I filmed a get ready with me everyday makeup look um, when I was really new into the YouTube game and I have no clue why but it still pops up every single time you come to my channel. I've been trying to change it but I, I just can't and every time you go on my channel there comes this like old super like cringy video of me doing my first makeup look. Um, yeah but I wanted to do one again uh, so yeah I thought I'd do it in a chatty way so grab yourself a cup of tea or coffee and just get ready with me. Um, well, I get ready. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully we can do that together. Um, so this is the makeup look that we're gonna create today. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so I'm gonna start by taking out this ridiculous headband. I usually wake up with this um, and I do this overnight to create my curls. So I usually start out by taking that off um, or do it at the end, but I don't want you to stare at this ridiculous thing the entire time. So I'm just going to take it off um, and this is how my hair looks when it comes out. Um, usually I just spritz some hairspray into this and then be good to go. Um, but I'm not going to do that right now just because afterwards I want to film another video, um, which I need my hair for. So um, yeah, I'm just going to like pin it, pin it behind my ears a bit. Um, and I have to try out a bit with the setup right here because I have my like little mirror right here. Usually I'm going to take this big one but I want to talk to you so I kind of have to see how I do that. Okay, sorry, I just remembered I had to plug in the microphone. So now hopefully the quality is a lot better. Um, so yeah, I'm going to push my hair back and I'm going to start off with this uh, which is my makeup bag. And if you are still using a regular makeup bag, you need to hear about this. Um, and yes, I have like a huge drawer of makeup. Um, down here but to be honest I never really use it and the past couple of times I've been getting ready in the bathroom I don't know why I feel like if I stand up um, and be in a bit of a rush in the bathroom I do it quicker than when I'm like sitting down here nicely and I just have my time um, so I usually do it in the bathroom um, but my boyfriend got me this a while ago because he's been so annoyed by all the makeup that's been flying around and I'm going to show you what it looks like so basically this is like a pouch um, it has these like drawstrings that you can open and when you do it's like a complete flat light like circular shape of all your beauty products so if you're messy like me you can just have them laid out like this um, and that's like perfect also because I've been traveling a lot so just <laughs> keeping all my things in here haven't even bothered to put them back in um, and I'm gonna start with one of my favorite things um, which is this. This is like the Pixie, uh, what's it called? Essential oil with uh, rose blend. Um, and this is so nice and nourishing for the skin. And I feel like, especially like during the winter season when it's been super cold, but I feel like, especially like February, March, were like the months where it was so, so cold in the mornings and the evenings, and then it got really hot during the day. Um, and this was just like rescuing me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna um, pop it a bit on my skin. Um, because it's also very nice like base and you <laughs> gotta make sure I don't eat it and the consistency of this is super liquid um, so if you put it on your skin like don't be surprised it's gonna run down but um, you're just gonna pop it on and it's just so nice and nourishing and you're just gonna feel heavenly it's just it's so good if I could I would also use this in an evening I think you can uh, but if I was to do it it would be empty even quicker so pixie if you see this please top me up because i love this stuff um and because it's saturday and i'm gonna go out with my boyfriend later i'm also gonna apply this which is um the pixie uh, radiance perfecto and this is sort of like primer i don't always use one uh, but if i do it's gonna be this one because it's like a very nice like glowy one yeah <laughs> my skin is really not perfect right now um but never mind. So I'm just gonna apply that as well. And I always just blend these kind of things with my fingers. I feel like that way you kind of get a little massage for your skin as well, which just feels amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna top that all off. Um, and as you may be able to tell, I've been to the hairdresser and I've gotten a few more like blonde highlights in. Although I feel like she's done it really roughly, like 
some of the patches are really dark, which usually my hair isn't even that dark. Um, so maybe she just did it lighter than I'm used to. I don't know, I feel like it's a bit patchy, but I do like being fully blonde again and I love like the fresh cut. Um, it gets so, so long so quickly. So now I'm going to apply some foundation um, and I've got two that I would always recommend. Um, this is like my ultimate one. This is the, um, what's it called, Charlotte Tiberly Airbrush Flawless Foundation. And this is like the best one if you want something um, that lasts all day and that just makes your skin look perfect then this is the best one you could get um, and for like a daily basis I use this one which is the L'Oreal BB cream I hope this focuses yeah um, it's like a BB cream that is super easy um, it also has an SPF in it which is why I don't use um, a separate one if you have good recommendations for like FPFs for the skin that are not too expensive then please let me know because I'm really on the hunt for something but the usual ones that I tend to get, I feel like my skin just breaks out. I just get so many blemishes when using it. Um, so, yeah, I do like to use this one from L'Oreal. And you could top it up really nicely. It's a um, very, like, subtle one that's not, not too bulky on the skin and still feels really nice. And you can build it up as well. And then I always use this like disgusting old beauty blender. It's from Real Techniques um, and it's really good. And like all my favorite appliances are from Real Techniques. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna dab that in. Usually I'd rinse it out before, um, but then I'd have to go into the bathroom and I can't right now. So I'm just gonna use it as it is, um, but I've washed it last night, so it should be fine. Um, and I'm just gonna dab that in. And I feel like with these beauty blenders, um, I hope you use them wet because you definitely should. Um, it just makes this whole experience of blending in your foundation so much better. And I feel like you get the glowiest um, finish. And just to top me up a bit, because it is a Saturday, um, I'm just going to use like a little pump of the Charlotte Tilbury foundation as well. And I'm going to mix these two um, because I think that could look really nice. Um, and since it's a summer, I've run out of my retinol oil, so I'm not using that anymore. Um, and I feel like now I do get some red patches over my skin. Um, but I feel like I do want to give my skin a break from retinol oil every now and then, just because I don't want to get my skin used to it, because I feel like then my skin wouldn't produce anything itself anymore, because it just gets all pampered all the time. So I think the balance for this is just... Or the key to skincare is just balance as well. Never get your skin used to too, too much. Um, but then at the same time, I'm like that person that buys like one shade of eyeshadow and then uses it for the rest of their lives. Um, or the same foundation. I'm really not that experimental with it. Like when I was a teenager, I had so, so much makeup. Um, I used to go into the drugstore and like buy makeup like almost every week. Oops, there it goes, where is it? There it is. Um, but now I really don't anymore and I can't even remember when's been the last time I bought myself some new makeup. I feel like changing my eyebrow routine was was the large uh, last large step for me. Um, then I'm going to go ahead with my uh, concealer, which is the Maybelline Fit Me concealer. I like that one a lot. It reminds me of the NARS... Um, forgot its name but it reminds me really much of that and I just use so much of it um, that I try to keep it a bit more budget friendly with these things um, and I'm just gonna dab that on like the blemishes on my chin it's really hard to talk while dabbing on your chin um, yeah but that's what I use and then also underneath my eyes I feel like I have such bad under eye area like it always gets so dark Oh, I never know what to do about that. Um, and I do drink loads of water, but it just gets dark anyways. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that on both sides. And let me know, do you wear um, glasses or contacts or anything? Because I discovered like a while ago, like I think like four months ago or something, that I need glasses. And I've been wearing them ever since. Um, and mostly I wear contacts when going out. But I haven't got them in yet, so everything in my camera is a bit blurry to me. So I hope I don't look too disgusting and everything turns out alright. But obviously I can't really tell. So yeah, so much to that. 
um, also a really good thing, these like beauty blender cases if you use them because then they don't get so disgusting and usually I wash them directly after applying my makeup. i um, gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me powder right now. Um, this is a really good one um, because it's quite mattifying um, and I feel like it lasts a long time. What shade do I have? It's the 120 Classic Ivory. I feel like their, their shades are always so confusing but I'm just gonna top myself off um, and also just set my foundation and my concealer. I feel like the Charlotte Tilbury foundation always makes me look so much better. I feel like I just look better. Um, yeah, that's definitely what I look like. Um, so yeah, that's like the base and I feel like that's always like already doing the biggest trick because that's what makes me feel like rested and looks fresh. And now, now I wish I was to look like that when I wake up, but I don't. <laughs> um, did not woke up like this. So yeah, I'm gonna go in with the um, Benefit Hula Bronzer. This is like the only bronzer I will ever use. I have it since I was, I think, 14 and I've just been repurchasing ever since. I bought it the first time I was um, at the airport. I think in London it was uh, back then. And... Let me just do that. Like I do it on the forehead and then like kind of go down here to create a bit of an arch. That's like my Ariana Grande obsession and she has these like, she always has a really harsh contour here. So I, I always contour here. I don't even know if it suits me or not, but <laughs> if she does it. It can't be bad for me, can it? Um, and then like mostly my, my cheekbone area, but I'm really not the biggest contour person. So Yeah, maybe maybe something like that. Um, yeah, anyway, so I've been just uh, using it since then and it lasted me for quite a few years. And then I've just been re repurchasing it ever since. And now every time I go into an airport, I usually get out with one of these hula bronzes just to top me up. Um, and I, I don't know, it's just become a little tradition of mine that every time I'm at the airport, I go and look for one of the hula bronzes. And back then I was also always buying the... Um, their real mus mascara from Benefit um, because I really really love that one as well and I always got it at the airport but um, I've been changing to like brown mascara um, and I feel like you can't find them that easily um, so I've got one from Maybelline that I'll show you in a second but um, that's the one that I like always use and let me know if you have any recommendations for like brown mascara that um, that just lasts <laughs> because I'm I'm lost. Um, anyway, I'm gonna use a um, blush now, which is Mac Malba. This is also like my all-time favorite shade. I always just repurchase this one because um, I'm like that basic and that boring. But I feel like the shade just suits me, and I don't even know why. But when I was younger, I I had like stashes of like different blushes and when I think about it it's like so unnecessary because who actually cares if it's a bit more peachy or a bit less peachy on my cheeks like it's not really a difference like it's not like you're saying oh she has a nice blush you just think like she has like a nice skin tone and I feel like that's what blush is supposed to do um and if blush gets too pigmented or too like artificial I can show you what I mean um for example, this one's from Sleek, um, and it's pixie pink, and just look at this! I'd look like a pig with it, um, and I've got so many of these, and I don't even know why, because I never end up using them, um, and I feel like this just looks best with my skin. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do a bit of highlighting, which I do with the uh, MAC Mineralize Skin Finish, and this one's like beaming blush, it's so pretty. But mine broke, so it just looks so disgusting when I open this now. Um, I don't think I can even show you. But I'm gonna just dab this brush in. It's a nice little brush from um, Real Techniques. And it has this like little fan. Um, and just goes on top of like the blusher. And I feel like that's always such a nice like finishing touch to my complexion. And then a bit on top of here. And a bit on the nose and then I always try to do like a, a bit on like the arch of my eyebrows 
usually I'll just pop like the rest that's on the the brush there because I don't want it to be too harsh and then that's like my skin done um, now I'd move on to eyebrows where is it um, okay, I've got a couple of products here but where am I okay here they are so I've got both of these like uh, from Catrice which you could just buy at the drugstore so I don't think I could link it um, but this is like a wax pen so it has this like gel kind of I hope you can see this um, it's like a gel wax pen and then on the other side you have like a little brush um, and I'm gonna try and show you how I do my eyebrows because I've been to the brow bar recently um, and they told me I've been doing them wrong my entire life so I've been changing up my routine um, so basically what they said is that I don't have enough hair and my eyebrows actually need to go up until here um, which as you can see is like a very light patch and then same goes for this side um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by like drawing a line on like the where my eyebrow goes and then just accentuate where it would end which would be somewhere around here I really hope that you can see this um, and then I'm gonna do the same thing around the top arch so the line will probably go somewhere here and then go down around here so something like that and can you see I've just created like this entire arch and now I just fill in these these gaps I start at the back because that's where they can get the heaviest and then I gotta like draw like that to draw some like nice little as if I was to draw hairs um, so it's gonna be really dainty but I'm just gonna try and fill it in and then I'm gonna use this brush and I'm just heavily brushing it because I really don't want this to look too harsh or as if I would draw my eyebrows um, which I do but I don't want people to know so that's how I do it and then I'll just top that up a bit and just give a bit of definition back into it but yeah that's that's how I would do it and can you just see the difference I feel like it's like day to night already um, and then doing the same thing on this side I might fast this forward because this video could get really long So yeah, um, that's how they then look. And then I'll go in with a little gel. This is a tinted gel that has some like fibers in it as well. And that's just to like fix them and make sure they don't move around. Okay, so I know my brows look quite heavy right now, but once um, the rest of my like eye makeup is done, that will just make a whole lot more sense <sighs> and I feel like I don't really do beauty videos that often which I think is a shame um, but I think my my beauty routines are just so boring so let me know if there's anything like you really want to see creating looks or getting ready for a special occasion maybe um, or for different occasions or anything just let me know because I would really love to do that I feel like it's so chill to just sit and talk with you but um, at the same time I think I just always stuck to the same beauty routine and because maybe when I was a teenager I watched so many beauty um, videos I kind of got quite a bougie everyday makeup routine that I just got to like train a lot and now I do it very quickly and I do it in like 10-15 minutes um, if I'm not chatting as I do right now but um, I do it so quickly that I always feel like this look is just as good as going out at night as it is for every day like it just is my look for like whatever the occasion is uh, so I rarely ever switch it up um, and that's maybe why I don't really film them that often but I hope you do like these types of videos I was just watching um, Molly's a couple of weeks ago uh, she did like a chatty get ready with me and I just remembered how much I loved watching these videos um, so I really wanted to do one again um, it's been such a while um, I think I actually need to get my um, eyeshadow palette that's still in the bathroom. 
Okay, so I got my eyeshadow palettes. We're gonna use uh, Charlotte Tilbury today, I think. And usually I always use this like super old and disgusting looking uh, naked palette, but it's still my favorite one. And yes, I'm like that basic. I buy them once in a lifetime and then I just, just keep using them. Um, but usually I'd start out with this like L'Oreal pigment, but I'm not gonna show that to you. I've showed it so often. Um, so I'm gonna start with this, which is the Charlotte Tilbury palette. Um, and this is so pretty, like, look at this, look at these colors, they're just gorgeous. Um, so you have like three lighter colors, which are for, no, three lighter colors, which are for like a day eye, and then you have three darker ones, which are for like the night, date night eye. <laughs> um, but I'm going to do like the lighter one, just because I feel like that one's a bit more appropriate. Um, and I'm going to start with the lightest color, and they're like so buttery soft. And then I'm just going to go in. Um, and just put that all over my lid. I feel like before I've only used these eyeshadows when I was using my fingers and not any brushes. And they're so different right now. Um, but yeah, I just love this like shiny champagne color. <laughs> okay, so first colors on. What I wanted to say is, I just really love these like chatty get ready with me's because usually when I get ready I just try to rush it and do it within 10 minutes and I get bored while doing it and when I like have some time to get ready I usually always call a friend and just chat while I get ready because then I have the time for it and I just I hate doing it alone. Um, so yeah I'm gonna go in with the second color which is a bit like peachy. Um, and I'm just gonna do it on like the second half of my lid and then just blend it like towards the, the front half. I have actually no idea. I'm not a beauty like pro, so I just do what I think sounds kind of logic, um, but I have no idea. So I'm just gonna pop that on like the second half of the lid. It actually has a really like nice gold sheen to it as well. And then I'm going to take uh, this like very small brush, which is also from Real Techniques. Um, it's quite pointy and I'm just going to take a bit of this color, which is a bit like um, pinky, I would say. Like it's a dark, like rustic, kind of brassy pink, but it might be a bit too pinkish for the eye, but let's just try it. I'm just going to like draw this like V and just place it in the crease of my eye and then I'm just going to take a fluffy brush like this one and just blend that and I will always just draw that inside because otherwise it's just going to get all over and I'm going to look like a clown um, but I think like that it really works Oh, this looks nice actually. It's more colorful than what I usually go for, but it's kind of the really reminds me of the like uh, pillow talk color. I feel like that's pillow talk for the eyes. Um, yeah, yeah. But that's that's my makeup look. I think I'm just not gonna do any much more. Um, for the eyeshadow at least. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner. And eyeliner is one of my favorite parts. Um, I don't know, I've been using it for years. When I was a teenager, then for years I didn't use any at all and now I'm so back onto it. Um, and I use the L'Oreal Ultra Precision Liner. And this one's brown as well. And it's actually like this liquid liner. And it turns out this is like, for me, the easiest way to do eyeliner. There's so many different ones and I feel like the liquid ones are just the easiest. Um, and this one has like a really nice stiff brush, so it works really well. So I'm just gonna do it um, on mute because I can't talk while well, it is. Wake up, honey, I made you breakfast. Fresh coffee and bagels too. A new day is waiting for us. We got lots of fun stuff to do. Let's go to the zoo and feed the monkeys. I can lend them your baseball cap. Let's make the day a bear and I'll 
think that went quite well. I have some like really like sleek little wings at the end. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with my mascara. Um, and I've got these like rose gold little lash curlers. And for mascara I use the Maybelline, uh, I think it's Sensational. Um, and again it's a brown one. Um, and I'm just gonna use that one. It has this like curved little um, brush. I actually don't really mind what type of brush it is. But as long as it's brown, I'll use it. Growing up is just a trap. Don't it seem like a trap? Like putting all of your joy in a big brown bag. I won't listen to any of that jazz. No, I'll never grow up. I'll never grow up. Growing up is just a big fat okay. trap. So that's my eyelashes done as well and usually I just uh, start right here because I'm always too lazy to do something for my lips so I'm just gonna pop on some like chapstick and then just see what else I could find in here um, I've been thinking maybe I'm just gonna use this one because I haven't done in a while um, and this is like just like little chapstick. I think it's one of the Clinique um, chapsticks. They're like a bit tinted and I like to use these because they give me some colors but I don't feel like wearing lipstick um, and I feel like the tint lasts even though the chapstick has gone. Like I feel like I don't get that like nude foundation lips uh, during the day or anything um, even when it has like gone. <laughs> but I think that's the finished look. So yeah, that is the finished makeup look for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what you think of this look and if you enjoyed my beauty videos and I'll say thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.